with screen, I try to like practice it, like audio recordings of it and also like just practicing self tapes and also like mapping out eye lines and just like really technical things. For screen, I want to try and be as open as possible for working with a director. Um, like anything could change. With TV, it's such an intense moment with just like maybe a one character or something. And I think yeah. I'm massively connected to like the inner um, and like what's going on on the inside and like just the eyes and, and the, the contact. You have a camera in your face. And so you kind of have to do a lot more kind of like, yeah, prep work and crystallization of like what decisions you've made regarding the text and your intentions kind of like in and out of scenes and things like that. You and the camera is, is intimate, so I may not necessarily have to show a lot more, but within that lack of showing, there's still a lot more that can be seen, if that, if that makes any sort of sense. The thought is enough. Like, yeah. mm. you don't have to do anything more than just think something, because if you're thinking it, then everyone will be able to read it, because the camera's so close. Screen, uh, my face moves a lot. So for me personally, I have to remember to like not move my face so much. Screen always feels quite in the moment. It either works or it doesn't. I try my best to do stuff that will help me minimize. Um, try and get rid of my hands, try and get rid of everything that's moving during speech. And stage is the, the opposite, trying to make myself as big as possible, whilst not making it so obvious that I'm an actor on stage. With stage, it's more of a, an expression, like through your body and like, it's like, out to people. With stage I feel like you can you can use energy so much more and you can kind of like get energy from an audience as well. With stage um, I try to one involve the audience more and make it bigger for the moment. It's me one on stage when I'm doing a monologue and there's so much people and there's people at the back I also want to reach them. I have to ensure that wherever I do anything I'm trying to portray gets across to them. I always love this um, image I, I, I got taught of imagining a cinema screen at the very back of the auditorium and just imagining your, your the images in your monologue or your thoughts just playing out on the back of the auditorium wall because it, it, it kind of automatically puts you in the gear of connecting to that very, you know, the furthest spots you're filling the space. In theatre, you use your body a lot more to express mm -hmm. maybe what your character's feeling or what they're going through, whereas in film, that kind of, a lot of that needs to happen through the eyes, which I think is a really fun thing to navigate and something that always also confuses me a bit. It goes for both. I like to just find the character and that goes, um, whether I do diary entries as the character or finding like characteristics or movements that the character would do. Um, and then just learning the lines as much as I can and then um, trying it differently every time I do it helps me. For me personally, um, it all starts, the groundwork is like my take on the characters, my perception. So I can try and take the facts from the script and, and work with the script with my input on it and just build from there. 